Hello, beautiful human. Thanks for clicking on our interview with Tori Kelly. Her new album, Hiding Place, is out now. I love this human being. She is so great. She was here with her husband. We hung out, talked music, talked life. I think you're going to enjoy it. Please leave your feedback in the comment section below. Podcast, we got one. Link in the description. And yeah, subscribe if you want. No pressure. Enjoy. Let's do this. Come in. Now it's weird. Yeah, now it's, yeah, now weird. it's weird. Just now, now, you made it weird, Paul. Yeah, now made it weird. I'll come around and say hi. Kidding. I haven't hey. seen you. Come on. Uh, yep. Hi. Hey, it's been so long. Too long. Good to see you. Welcome. When exactly hey. is planned. I know. Hey. Hi, guys. How are you? Oh, you guys are in the same outfit. It's cute. I know. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We're wearing the same thing. Oh, nice. Whoa. Okay, be careful. Be yeah, careful. Awesome. Like How that. are you? Good. You're going to go right there on the couch to the right. Yeah. To the right. Yeah. Oh God, and you have a black sweatshirt. This is awesome. We're going to take a twin picture later. <laughs> He's going to get her a hat, a black hat. Yeah. I'll take mine off. I should wear this right Yes. Yeah, if you want. And you can get in the corner, move the mic to wherever. Oh my gosh, this is cool. Get comfortable. This, you're, I think, the only show that does this vibe right here, right? Oh, yeah. I, it, in the radio world? At least where I've, where I've been. I've never been oh, in this vibe I, I try to make it memorable and comfortable, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I, I love it. I'm getting, like, flashbacks to the first time you came by the show. <laughs> Wait, when was that? Um. Okay, so... Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, you did 106 in Park that day. <gasps> yeah. Did we steal her? And so one of our interns... Oh my gosh, saw that's you, right. They saw you enter the building, yes. and they were freaking out, and they're like, Tori Kelly's here, Tori Kelly's this here. This was in New York. This then. was in New yeah, York yeah, City. Yeah. I totally remember this. And this was right <laughs> around, the, you, you had the viral vine. December 13th, yeah. 2013. That was the day. That's when we posted Wait, the that was the day before my birthday? We have the same birthday, too? You were the 14th? Oh, oh, the twelfth. Sorry, you're the twelfth. Bad okay. <laughs> the day you're the day after. The day. Wow, that's embarrassing yeah. for you. So that was the day in between our birthdays. There you go. What? A really special day for everyone. Yes, it was. <laughs> but yes. it was right around the time that the sun is out and I'm feeling oh my okay. Gosh. Do you remember that? <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I think she blocked the it out. girl because of that. Yeah. <laughs> but, and that really, like, I mean, obviously you had American Idol, you had a couple other things, but that was like yeah. a big one. That that was when Vine, the height of Vine's popularity and... Yeah, it, I know. R.I.P. Vine. Mm -hmm. yeah. Does it, it, is it coming back? Is it... it a, that was a rumor for a little bit. I don't yeah. think so. But anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, no, but I, I remember uh, y we were able to get you on the show, and yeah. like we called your record label, for, like begging, and then it was you and your mom. Yeah, and you came by that day, and we played your record on the radio, and that was the first time that your song had been on the radio in the U.S. Yes, but th they had played it in the U.K. But this was, dear no one, no. Yeah, nothing was at like I had an I think I had an EP out. And that was it. And that's it. I don't even know if my EP. You said 2013. That's so what it had. We, yeah. It had just come out. My EP had just come out. So no album or anything yet. And was it Dear No One? Was that the single? Probably yeah. Yeah, it was like the unofficial single. <laughs> Such a good song though. <laughs> thanks and thanks for having me way back then, man. That's so cool. But look at your life. I mean, come on. <laughs> you've had professional and you've had some really incredible personal growth over the last oh, few years. Thanks. <laughs> I would hope so. Dude, just in like the Growing last good. seven months, you get married. That Yes, that happened. Well, congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. B by it's the way, been fun. your husband's back there yeah. loving our studio. <laughs> yeah, just <He's> fully <laughs> just sinking into a giant bean bag oh, right now. His shoes That's are his off. his size. <laughs> shoes are <Yeah>. off. <laughs> <laughs> He's thriving back there. Yes. H how do you meet? Um, we, how, how did we meet? Yeah. How, do we, how do people we, meet in general? Do, Can you tell us? I actually have, I need an answer to that question too. It's too, too easy. It's too easy. It's too easy. Um, I'm getting flashbacks too of the first interview. It's bad. Making fun of each other the whole time. That's um, we, we met through family actually. His, his family ended up moving right next door to my aunt, Ooh. which is, which is like in the middle of nowhere, like small town. So crazy. And. Um, they just really hit it off and kind of tried to play Cupid with their niece and son. And uh, both of us were just rolling our eyes like, no, we're not. Neither of us were looking to be in a relationship. And um, and it just kind of it happened. We just we started we started talking really because I saw um, my aunt sent me a video of him sharing his story and giving his testimony. And um, we connected a lot on our faith and just had a lot of things in common. So we just started talking. It was really like innocent. We weren't trying to flirt or anything, which is cool, I think. And uh, just got to know each other and then finally met. And it was 
it was love at first meet. How long are we <laughs> talking previous to meeting in person? Um, like how long were we were we talking Texting. for? We were talking for about five months. Wow. Yeah. Because it was like long distance, we weren't able to meet yet. So yeah, but we were both guarding our hearts. It wasn't like it wasn't the kind of thing where it was like, "I love you," like you're hot or anything. <laughs> it was like very, very chill, and um, we were just yeah, getting to know each other. It was cool. The opposite of surface level in your conversations is that how you knew? Like the fact that it wasn't like, "Oh, you're hot" or "You're so pretty." Yeah, I think that did have something to do with it. I mean, I was, I was being really careful too. I think both of us were. Um, before before we actually met because we didn't want it to be like a catfish situation. <laughs> you know, where it's like you're a completely different person. But when we met, it was like, oh, okay, you're the same person that I've been talking to. And then we could kind of start from there because you still have, you have a lot to learn when you, you know, when you're with someone in person too. But it was a cool foundation for us to have, to have that before. Anything that you, that surprised you? Like that you didn't expect getting to know him over text? Uh, that how well how tall he is. I couldn't have known that over time. Yeah. <laughs> he is pretty he's, tall, yeah. He's like six six, right? Six, yeah, I yeah, saw him six, next to LeBron James. Yeah, he was yeah. like eye level. <laughs> yeah. So when we met, I was like, oh okay, you're really tall. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah. But he's a basketball player. Yes. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's also good to have somebody have with their own thing going on. You know, totally. They yeah. have their own passions. Yeah, and no matter, I mean, no matter what he does, he's he's like he's the best at whatever he does. So. Yeah. Did you did he know that you were the Tori <laughs> Kelly? Did he know that? I'm yeah, the Tori Kelly. You were just ah, Tori Kelly. <laughs> yeah. I think it's so funny talking about him when he's like right yeah, he's behind me. I think it's hilarious. He's probably like, oh, I want to answer too. Um, <laughs> no, I think you didn't. You you kind of knew, like you, you he had heard stuff, I think, and then but he he didn't like really know. But then um, we both like we both, we both kind of stalked each other a little bit, I guess. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> Like, like the people do, you know? Like people do, you know? Yeah. It's 2018. So now that he's sitting right behind you, what's the most annoying thing he does <laughs> oh now that you guys are married? <laughs> he doesn't He doesn't do anything annoying. He's, he's an angel. He's perfect. Sure. We never argue anything. Wow. <laughs> okay. Liar. Yeah. No, it's been really fun, though. Honestly, marriage is, is the best. We love it. Uh, how... How does your creative outlet change and your creative outlook change now that you're married? Um, that's a good question. I guess I haven't really, I haven't thought about it much. I think I'm still, I mean, of course I'll have more to write about now. Um, but I'm also really late, like when it comes to processing my feelings and what I'm going through. So I'll, I'll go through something, I'll kind of jot down like, okay, I'll write a song about that someday, but then I'm. It, it could be months like before I actually put all the thoughts together and put it into a song form. I don't know if that makes sense. No, it, like it but, ta- you until you process it, like you yeah. go back, you, you revisit. Yeah, like the the songwriting process for me, it can be long, like really long. And then I can be singing about something that happened like last year and I'm still, you know, it's still fresh in my mind. Um, but... Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I can't tell if much has changed actually creatively. Next album, but probably will know. better. Things will probably be better. Ooh. And next album, we'll know. Yeah. So Hi- hopefully that's better. A hiding place though <laughs> is. Yes. I mean, second album. Yeah. When does this album actually start? How long ago? Um, this was only this year. So the beginning. Yeah, beginning of this year. Even though I've been writing for the last couple years, this one kind of just. Happened. Just like made its way in, yeah, and it all started with um, while I was writing for the other music. Um, I I I grew up on gospel music, so I've always just wanted to put a gospel song on one of my albums or something like that. And so I brought that up to my team and um, Scooter, who's my manager, and he was just all for it. Um, everyone was all excited about it and they were like, you should work with Kirk Franklin on it. And I was like, okay, yeah. Like, <laughs> it's a big deal. Yeah, it's a super big deal. And I, I grew up listening to him, so I was super excited. And um, when I got into the studio with Kirk out in Dallas, because um, he convinced me to come out to Dallas. He's like, if you want to do gospel, you got to come to the South. <laughs> and I was like, cool. <laughs> Done. I was like, there's a million studios in LA though. And he was like, nope, <laughs> gospel, you got to come to the South. And he he was right. There's, I mean. You got to feel it. You got to feel it. Yeah. There's something about the South. And, um, but yeah, so we, we started writing and 
one song turned into four songs and then that turned into eight songs and we were like okay instead of picking certain songs to be on this other album why don't we just put it out as a separate project and i'm so glad that we did which really could be seen as a risk right because it is your second mm-hmm. album people always fear that sophomore album yeah but this was so different and almost unexpected that it's kind of solidified its own place in like musical history because when was the last time so i mean at least as somebody who's listened to the album (laughs) yeah probably listened to it like six or seven times by now wow i really enjoy it thank you i love me some church music same but i all your vocals on it sister crazy (laughs) thank you so much crazy so okay you get with kirk and you start with never alone yeah, well, he had actually, he had four of the songs Got it. already written, and he was like, I, these are for you, and which, which that's rare for me to, to love songs that are already written, because I'm such a songwriter at heart, I love to be involved in the whole process, so the fact that he was like, here's some songs, and I fell in love with them, and they, they actually sounded and felt like I wrote them. It was like he was just taking the words out of my mouth, and um, so those four of the songs in the album are are just him and then i was like well we should write together and then we wrote never alone and the other four <laughs> which songs come out of the two of you working together it was it was never alone was first um and we wrote sunday together and we wrote psalm 42 together and soul's anthem got as it as well yeah questions is a record that stands out to me yeah for a couple different reasons it's somebody questioning their faith and questioning, does God really exist? Is that is that kind of the message? Or how do you interpret it as somebody who's taking on somebody else's words? Yeah, you know what? I I love that song just because of the honesty and how raw it is. And and you're right. It, I think it does stand out for a lot of people. That's, yeah. that's I think, the main song right now where people are like, I'm crying. Like, this is it amazing. And yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I, you know what? something about that song it, you're right it is really powerful I think what it is is just it's just human to ask questions and to admit like I don't have all the answers and for me that song is it's a prayer it's asking you know God like why is why are all these crazy things happening in the world why can't we explain this and this like are you really there are you are you listening are you hearing us and and I think a lot of times in in the church we've kind of been I know I'm, I've felt this way, almost like afraid to ask that or afraid to doubt. And, um, you know, when I open up the Psalms, there's so much doubt and so many questions and, um, you know, just asking those things that I was saying, like, where are you, God? And, um, and I, I've, I heard someone say one time that doubt is not the opposite of faith. And I thought that was so cool. Like doubt is actually like it it helps work out your faith. Like you're still going to God and asking questions, you know, you're still um, wanting to figure this out. And I think at the end of the day too, it's, it's kind of surrendering. Like, you know, when I'm singing that song, I'm like, okay, I can't figure any of this out. So you're going to have to help us down here. You know, like I don't have the answers and um, the help us to love is kind of like that too. It's a form of a prayer of like, like we just need you. We need your love down here, you know? So when you first perform these songs, do you sit with them? Do you listen to the records? Do you read the lyrics over and over again? How do you get connected to them and how do you embody them? So you mean the song, like the songs that he, that were already done. Yeah. You know, those, like I said, it was almost like he took the words out of my mouth. It was so easy just to go into the booth. And I mean, the, literally the first day we got together, I recorded masterpiece. Um, cause he just, we, he played me a bunch of songs and I was like, is there, are there any up tempos? And he was like, don't worry. And he played me that one last <laughs> and he, he, he played masterpiece and he was like, I think we should start with this one cause it's just fun. And, and, uh, it was just so easy to get into it. And I think that had a lot to do with Kirk too, cause he's just such a fun person to be around. And he's just this ball of energy that's like bouncing around <laughs> the walls. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's the best. We, there were times when we, had to stop our conversations because we were getting so deep into just conversations and just hanging out around the studio. We were like, oh, we need to finish 
the album because we're <laughs> just having too much fun. Do you just go like into a straight work? Like when you go there and you realize that there's something here, do you just stay in Dallas and crank this out? Or do you leave, come back? It was, for this, it was, we, we had, I think, like a week planned out. And then after that week, it was like, okay, I have to, I have to come back. Because we, we knew, I mean, I think we did like the four songs in that week and then we're like, okay, we need we need more songs. We got to keep going. And it was just so effortless and, and organic the way it all came about. Masterpiece, is it somebody, like, it, it, to me it felt like the this human being is pitching themselves to somebody else. Like, see the potential in me. Like, <laughs> love me. If you're not going to love me for where I'm at right now, like, I'm a, 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 there's a lyric in there that's like, I'm a, it's something that has to do with rock and like, it's... Do you, am I the, wrong? Wait, am I crazy right rock? now? What's what no, is the, the lyric? Maybe I'm maybe I'm confusing <laughs> the lyric. But you smell what the rock is cooking. No, I could be just I could be not. I'm bad at this. No, no, no. <laughs> thinking, I'm, she's I'm, bad at knowing her own song. I'm bad at knowing my own song. Okay. I didn't jot down the actual lyric, but it stood okay. out to me of like somebody at like it was almost like you were begging to be loved. Mm. Is that the message of it? I I don't think so. Actually, I, I mean, someone might interpret it that way but the way the way that song is is meant to be is is it's asking god make me make me your masterpiece and there there is a verse that says um that we are his his masterpiece mm. and i think there there's two ways i look at that song because i think god you know he he has it's it's like i like to think of our lives as like different pieces of a giant like mosaic and when we all come together it like makes this beautiful picture but maybe like individually you can't necessarily see it but then it's like together yeah. it's more beautiful and I think that's one part of the song that I like to think about but then individually too there's I mean there's a line when I'm when I'm not a melody in the morning I think it is is a line and and or when I like when I'm off key when I feel off key and that for me that's like every day like I wake <laughs> up like not feeling like super confident and like wake up with like makeup on and stuff it's like I have insecurities you know we all have we all have insecurities and so that that song is kind of this reminder of like oh like God sees me as like as perfect and beautiful and he made me with with a purpose and he made me um, exactly and uniquely the way that that I'm supposed to be. So it's, it's just like this. It's almost like a pep talk in the morning. Yeah. Like that's your that's the morning jam you put it on. It's like I'm good. <laughs> I'm beautiful. Like you know, trying let's to let's go. Yeah. <laughs> what does Psalm 42 mean to you? Psalm 42 is straight straight out of Psalm 42. I mean, we uh, we definitely wrote some of our own lyrics but we wanted a song when we, that was one of the later songs that we wrote out of the eight and we were looking at everything we had and um the way kirk put it is is really cool i think he he talks about uh when when you're doing gospel music there's like horizontal songs which is like you and i talking about god and then there's vertical songs which is like you just talking, talking god. to god yeah mm-hmm. and so which I, I just love that visual and um, and we were sitting there listening to all the songs, and we we're like, you know, we need like we need another vertical song, like just straight up, like worship a song, like churches can even sing and learn, and um, and and even like sonically, we were thinking we need something that maybe even I could just play on guitar, like just something really simple, because gospel music too is known for like crazy runs, like everybody's <laughs> going crazy, which is awesome. But we were like, let's just try to see and challenge ourselves if we can do something really like straightforward and simple and, and beautiful. And um, so that's, that's honestly where that song stemmed out. It was us just kind of taking a step back from the, the crazy and, um, and opening up the Psalms, because we were like, what better way to you know, sing to, to God than to go straight to like the scripture where it, it has all these beautiful poems and, and actual songs in the Psalms. Um, and so that's really where we went. So a lot of those lyrics that you hear are straight out of Psalm 42. Does God get writing credit? <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I don't know how that works. Who do you send yeah. these checks to? <laughs> yes. Yes. I'll, I'll, I'll give him writing credit for sure. No, every, everything I touch, it all, all goes back to him. It all goes back to him. What do you learn about your faith <laughs> from making an album like this? I, I've learned, I think, to not overthink it. I think it's so... It, we, we like to complicate things and it's really so simple. And I think 
you know, the, the reason why I named the album Hiding Place is, <clears throat> is that's really what these songs are for me, is it's this, this place to escape to and feel safe. And it, that's, a, that's another scripture that really inspired me was uh, Psalm 32, 7. And it says, uh, you are a hiding place for me and you surround me with songs of deliverance. Or another translation says, you surround me with songs that make me feel free. And I, and that's, I think that's really what I've, what I've learned and what I've been trying to embrace more is like th- these, these songs should just make me feel free. And when, and when I sing them, that's, that is really how I feel. And, and, uh, you know, God just, he's so full of love and he is love and that, that shouldn't be a thing that, that makes me, you know, overthink or, or be even, you know, living in fear. It's like, that should be, that should make me feel free. And, um, that's, that's how I feel when I sing these songs. So that's why I named it hiding place too. Is your faith your hiding place or is your music your hiding place? I would say God is my hiding place. And then from that, because, because I believe that he's if he's God, like then he's the he's Lord over everything. So that means he's also over music. Yeah. yeah. And he gave me the gift of music. You know, he gave me this this uh, ability that I have. I believe comes from him. And so um, I think it's it's a both and. It's like if he's my hiding place, like that verse says, then he's music awesome. is also my hiding place because I'm when I'm singing, I'm I'm giving glory to him. You know. Sorry to interrupt the interview, but I got to tell you about canvaspeople.com. We all have those amazing photos that we love. We want to keep these photos forever, but they're sitting on our phones. They're sitting on our computers. Bring them IRL. Make them real. Make them so you can touch them. Canvas people, they want to do it for you. You send them your photo and they're going to send you back a beautiful canvas of your photo that is like museum quality. It's going to be ready to hang up. It's 100% legit. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be a beautiful piece of decoration to go into your house and it's going to really bring your memory to life canvaspeople.com they want to hook you up with something for free so you can try it out first they'll give you a free 11 by 14 canvas that's free 11 by 14 canvas send them a photo they'll send you back your photo real like you can touch it and stuff this is a 69.99 value and you're getting it for free all you got to do is use my code zach at checkout canvaspeople.com use my code zach Z-A-C-H, canvaspeople.com. Let me know what you think. Were you worried that some of your fans wouldn't be able to relate to the lyrics on the album? Um, I, I think worried is the is the wrong word. I, I knew that, I'm, I'm well aware of that everybody isn't going to necessarily have the same beliefs as I do and, and, uh, and might not relate. But I think at the heart of this album, what I really wanted people to... To take away from it is is hope. I think hope is such a universal message and feeling, and and I'm I'm you know singing from from experience, and it's it's the type of thing where my faith is such a huge part of my life that I can't like I can't hold it in. Like I have to sing these songs, and so it it did cross my mind that you know maybe maybe this would be a risk, like you said, and maybe you know I might I don't know maybe people won't want to listen anymore. But to me, it was I had to weigh the cost and and it was still worth it because I'm pouring so much of my heart and soul into these songs and I I, I hoped that people would at least hear that and and want to at least give it a shot. You win no matter what because it is a part of you and you need to ha- and music is also obviously a part of you because of yeah. that. So the two are very much connected. You need to this body work I think was needed in your life. Mm. Right? And getting to know you I mean, getting to know you obviously from having you on the show, but also from like a just a normal human being's perspective of Tori Kelly. Yeah. I, I I don't know, I felt like it was kind of a natural thing also. Which might sound weird, but I mean I I feel the same way, so it's crazy that you say that. Cause it for me, it's it's crazy putting this out because I I know it's a different genre technically, but it it really doesn't feel like that much of a departure. And I don't I don't know if it has to do with um, just the the sound of like gospel being so embedded in just the way I sing, um, and how it's it's inspired me so much. And even in the pop stuff, you can kind of hear a little bit of that. Um, but yeah, I, I would hope that no matter what genre or you know whatever I'm singing, it would still be me in it. Like you would still get like, oh, this is this is Tori on the song. You, you know? know your voice, <laughs> very distinct and almost like a genre into of in. 
into itself. You wow. know what I mean? Thank you. Wow. Is yeah, there you a, got a good voice. <laughs> Thank that you. is something you have. <laughs> Thanks. Is there a new level of responsibility the second you make music that really could be sung in a church? I, my my immediate <laughs> response would be kind of like my answer before, where I I what I've learned through this whole process, what I was saying, like, is to feel a sense of freedom and actually not feel that pressure, um, which is so interesting because I've, I have had this kind of, I've, I've struggled with like perfectionism, even just in, in the past of just whatever I've put out of kind of making sure I say the right thing and like, you know, being in the spotlight, it can make you feel like that. And, um, and it's so interesting because you would think that by putting out a gospel project that would make that even worse like oh now i really need to be you know careful what i say like careful how i act and it's they're gonna be praying to it you know it, they're gonna that? be praying to your music yeah right which is which is amazing but like i think i think that like god's gonna do his thing with it you know like i don't need to stress about it and um yeah i i think i wouldn't i wouldn't want to put that pressure on myself um but at the same time it is it's a huge blessing that you know i get to do this kind of music and that people like you said are gonna maybe be playing in their churches and like that's amazing but i think as long as i as as long as i continue to just do my thing and worship you know worship the god that i worship and and do all that then i don't i don't think i need to worry about necessarily the responsibility part or the pressure part of it that was kind of a long answer to say all that. Well, we got to the yeah. point. We got there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got there eventually. You're torn in. A, you're torn in churches. Yeah, that's cool. That's yeah, crazy. that's awesome. Not not all churches. It's like I think we're doing like historical buildings and mm-hmm. just buildings with really dope architecture and stuff, which I'm stoked about. <laughs> like really, the, I mean, those are going to be some of the coolest venues you probably have ever played. I think so. Yeah, I'm so stoked, and I keep hearing too that shows are like selling out, and I'm, it's getting me like all amped to go out. This is my favorite thing ever is going on tour. Is that is that your most like? Is that the part that really gets you going when it comes to making music? It is. Yeah, it totally is. Because that's when it becomes more real. Like when you're in the studio, it's all just in your head or it's it, it's kind of it stays in that little room that little bubble but then when you get to actually not only release the music but then go perform in front of however big the room is it doesn't matter it could be 50 people it could be thousands of people it doesn't matter because you're getting to see face to face like their reactions and just how the songs affected them and that's my favorite thing ever I love it do you picture anything when you're in the booth recording it, I guess it would depend on the song, but for the most part, I'm I'm kind of just, it's hard to explain. I'm like checked out kind of, I don't want to say I black out, that sounds bad, <laughs> but like it does, <laughs> it does kind of, it just feels like, yeah, I'm, I'm not thinking about much actually. I'm just focusing on the song. You just sing it. it kinda, yeah, it's like, I mean, that's another reference to hiding place, I guess, because it feels like the world literally melts away when I'm in the booth or even when I'm on stage singing a song. It's like, yeah, I go into this other place. It's kind of (laughs) cool. What's this tour going to be like? Are you bringing Kirk on tour? Is he going to go with you? Are you bringing a choir? Um, I, I, I hope Kirk can, can come for at least some of them. Um, and I don't, I don't actually know how much I can say, but, um, <laughs> it's, say it anyway. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, um, I want to kind of blend the two worlds. Um, all of it, all of it's going to be me. It's not going to feel forced or anything. So I still want people to come in, you know, knowing like, okay, I'm going to a, tel- a Tori Kelly concert. It's not going to be this other thing but at the same time I'm going to be singing songs off the new album and maybe teasing some other new stuff nice. so we'll see yeah so <laughs> okay you're obviously are you writing yet for the new music or are you just sitting on like random lyrics that you have to sit down and like soak in again oh no stuff stuff is written yeah like I said I've been I've been writing for the last couple of years I've, I didn't really take off time you really, really just kept going. I did, I because for me, writing season is is off time or is downtime. So I don't. I honestly don't know how other artists do it, where they're like touring and writing and like doing everything all at once. Like for me, I have to have like okay, I'm off. I'm writing. I'm living life. I'm writing about life, and then I can go out and perform it all. And even when you weren't writing, you were always in the public eye. Sing. 
Yeah, kind of you accidentally. Played a great elephant. Yeah. yeah, thank you. I didn't. I didn't. Well, Mina was in was in the public eye. I was kind of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Pet, yeah. Well, then you did the but, yeah. nationwide commercial. Yeah, that that's true. Yeah. Wow. I know. I've just been kind of floating. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big one, though, right? That it nationwide is. thing. Did you it, write that it, song? I didn't, but uh, it kind of sounds it like does. I did. I was yeah. impressed when they when they showed it to me. I was like, oh, this is cool. Did mm-hmm. You cover an Ellen John song too, right? Or what? Did you cover Ellen John? Or you did you cover something by somebody? Uh, not Elton <laughs> John. No. By somebody. <laughs> That's a very valid I have question. done some covers, yeah. <laughs> mm. I have, but I don't think Elton John yet. Let me Maybe. see. Can I go back to this? No. Let me get back to you. <laughs> nationwide thing, because are you in it with like a, a, a country singer? Um, I don't. Or is know. that another there spot? Well, there might be. But they, they played might have the song. Done, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they play that you singing it with somebody else, but you are physically in one. Yes. Oh yeah. I and am. You see her with the guitar, and she's singing yeah, yeah, yeah. to him. Yeah. Is wait is the is the song in another commercial too? I, no, without I th- me. <laughs> I think it's with. I think they play. Oh, it. like they merge the two yes. commercials together. Maybe. Yes. Oh, I haven't yeah. seen that one yet. But, I mean, that's oh. pretty crazy. Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. Yeah, I, I have done. I was song yet. close. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, give me a break. Not even, <laughs> <laughs> Not even piano, maybe. <laughs> so you covered a song by Stevie Wonder. <laughs> well, <it's, laughs> we'll cut the rest of that out. Yes. Yes. Just a quick. Um, Pick up. <laughs> yeah, it's in the movie actually. It's in Sing. Yeah. Oh, nice. Get on it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> the elephant sang it. But Hallelujah was the real standout <laughs> performance uh, from Sing. Thank you. My thank mom you. loved the jam? movie. Yes. Yeah, your mom loved it. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I actually listened to the, your version of Hallelujah, mm-hmm. Hallelujah from that movie the other day. Oh, nice. Yeah. Thank you. It's up there on one of some of your most popular on Spotify. Oh, is it? The That's world stream that. <laughs> Well, that's pretty cool. cool that you get to be in an animated movie. Oh my gosh, that was the co- like probably I don't want to say the coolest thing. It's up there for sure. It is so up there with one of the coolest things I've ever done. What what so is the coolest cool. thing you've ever done? I don't know. That's why I don't. That's why I can't <laughs> say. It's hard. You want to pinpoint it right yeah, now? Yeah, I don't want to like make you know compete. I think proving thing. Simon Cowell wrong is in your top five. <laughs> is at it? Least. Yes. I mean, right? you did get married right. too. <laughs> that's that's one of the top things. Yeah, that's in a different category. Actually, I that, can't okay. compare that with with nah. career stuff. Fair yeah. enough. Personal's on one side. Professional's <laughs> right, on the yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll come up with my own list and I'll get back to you. Okay, yeah, let me know what my top things <laughs> you got are. It. Yeah. No, he will. He will tweet you later. He's going to do it. I'm going to really think about it. <laughs> so, he's sorry. no other, that's no, hilarious. he's nothing else to do. <laughs> nope. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, is your husband still playing? He plays basketball. Oh, back to the husband. Sorry. Oh, yeah, that's we're okay. going to talk about him instead of you. He's, in, he's literally in your view. So yeah, yeah, I see him. But, no, he's he's not actually. He's not playing at the moment. Oh, way to bring it up. Got it. Sorry. I'll play him one on one if he wants to it's play. Okay. Yeah. You want okay. It? Yeah. He's like a foot taller than you. <laughs> Probably two feet. <laughs> he's so big and I'm so tiny. I would love to see the two of you play one on one. It wouldn't be fair. <laughs> for, for him, right? Yeah. You're so good. <laughs> hey. Anyway. Help us to love is a beautiful song. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry to switch topics. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> wait, are you down to play uh, my friend Dan in basketball? Well, I had a career-ending injury. Yeah, oh, my oh, oh I'm anymore. sorry to hear that. So, yeah, let's definitely play. That. I'm so yeah. sorry. <laughs> it's like, I'll win now. I'll put $300 on it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be like me and Tori have a sing-off. Like, that wouldn't even be fair. <laughs> yeah. You played in Germany? Yes. Cool. Cool. Mary, are you German? Yes. He's German, yeah. You he speak German? German? Oh, that's yeah. awesome. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Cool. Do you even like basketball? Oh, I love basketball. Are you kidding? But now you well, love basketball. Say, no, I hate basketball. <laughs> no, I've always, I've always been a Laker fan. Oh, okay. Yeah, he knows. He knows. Okay. Yeah, I definitely got more into it when I met him, of course. But yeah, it's fun. I like it. <laughs> Maybe you should play one on one with Tori instead to be a little more even. Yeah, I'll take you on. There sure. You go. I mean, we look like we're on the same team. We have the same uniform right now, but we do. you love the fact that you're wearing the same outfit. I it's love cute. it. It's I feel like I'm neutrals. looking at my. Yeah, I feel yeah. like I'm looking at myself. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I feel. That <laughs> Rightfully so. Yeah, you're missing the hair. Yeah, you do have gorgeous hair. <laughs> Dan does not. You know, I'll forever remember. Obviously, the first day you come in, but I'll rem- yeah. uh, there was this guy that used to work for us, Mike Greenberg. Oh god, also a, obsessed. Also a very religious man. I've never watched somebody fall in love for the first time. <laughs> oh. oh my god, I watched him look at you and just melt <laughs> his insides and then his outsides uh-huh. it's like he turned into a puddle a puddle you have you have quite the effect on people you really oh, do man. i have a couple friends that have, oh you have the gosh. same effect on them really yeah what do you well, think it is about you i, I, I don't know <laughs> 
<laughs> That's such an odd question to ask. Oh. What do you why think do, it is? Why are you so great? Why do people love you so much? Tell us. I don't know. I'm 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 humbled. I'm honored. That's really sweet. I'll tell you. The smile. Is it the Just dimple? The is it the one are, dimple? It's probably the dimple. I don't know. And the fact that there's only one, it's really, it's good. It's a good <laughs> look. Weird. Two dimples or two in? Everybody has two That's dimples. Too much. No, no. Too Some much. people have no dimples. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. But if you don't have no, then you, none, then you usually have two. And then if you don't have two, one is, that's... That's so rare that it's cool. <laughs> your hair? I get the hair. Is it the hair? The hair I don't know. pretty good. I think it's just that you're down to earth. You're very oh. normal. You have a great voice. <laughs> Thank you. Good personality. Great personality. You guys are making me laugh. So <laughs> trying to make it weird. Is it working? <laughs> yeah. yeah <it's laughs> cool. Weird. No, it's not weird. It's okay. weird. Well, I have a question <laughs> about weird. future music. Okay. I saw a lot of people <laughs> online asking about these songs. If I get the names wrong, let me know. Coffee, language, oh. actress, and pretty fades. <laughs> yeah, I teased. I teased some of those. Um, I did a show. I did like a little pop up show, uh, just acoustic, and I did a ton of new songs. So I don't. I <laughs> are they? What are they asking? Like, where are those? Where are be? they? Yeah. Are they coming out? I don't know. Yet. I can't well, say. I guess. Do we have like but another? Like, hopefully, somehow. Do you have another album worth of songs? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Are you gonna- I mean, I kind of gave it away by doing that show. But, um, so people have always known, like even when I put this this album out, the gospel album, I always said like, you know, there's definitely a lot of music that's going to come out. So this is kind of the first of of many. Yeah. Ooh. So you're going to yeah. go gospel and back to pop, then gospel? And then <laughs> Alternate? Back to pop. Who knows? Who knows? I think um, I don't. I don't even like kind of putting genres on it because pop is even kind of a funny word it really just means popular mm-hmm. right yeah. <laughs> true yeah. so That's i don't true. so i don't know where, where i'm gonna be i think i think gospel will always influence my music no matter what in some way and then um yeah we'll see i think i will say whatever comes out after this is definitely going to be um very honest and raw and uh, <laughs> I don't know what's another word to describe without giving it away. Good. Y- hopefully good. Yes. <laughs> hopefully good. Um, objectively good. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what it'll be. Um, yeah, I'm I'm excited for people here. It'll be it'll be a fun year ahead. I think. Your approach is awesome. Not wanting to limit yourself or put yourself in a creative box is great because then you really get to, then it's just a, the sound of Tori Kelly, right? It's not Thanks. the sound of anything else that's out there. And I think a lot of people are predicting maybe another Christian album from you, but or or songs that will always be like that in the future, which like a total crossover. Yeah, like a thing. complete and total crossover. Yeah. But like, you don't need to lose one to gain another. Yeah, they all live in perfect harmony together because at the end of the day, it's just art. Amen. It's cool. Amen. I love that. <laughs> That's totally my perspective too. I think. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, whatever genre it is, it's it's all still going to be me. I'm still going to put myself into it. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I, I, I write songs about life, you know, whatever whatever I'm going through, whatever I believe in, like it's all, it's going to be there. But life delayed by like life a year. Life delayed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about Late Christmas process. songs? Ooh. Ooh. That's on the that's on the list too. I've always I've always thought that would be fun to do. I don't know when an people, original or like a faith, cover. That, that's Ooh. your faith in it too, you know. Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. Yeah, Christ. Christ. Keeping yeah. the Christ in Christmas. The whole thing. <laughs> totally. Yeah. yeah. I I don't know what that would be. That'd be fun. I feel like people have to do that so early on in advance. So they're like recording Christmas songs in May? Like April. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Hanson so. told us. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They Did they put one out? Or are they putting one out? They put one out a while ago and they oh, record okay. in the summer. But the great thing about those, they just live on like yeah. every year. They come, yeah, Mariah Carey's album's like up oh. there every time. The only reason so she's good. really still rich is that one song. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, seriously. I mean, yeah. Come on. No, I, I'm not, dis- tr- not disagreeing. Gajillion dollars. Yeah. Mm, yeah, no comment from me. <laughs> I just brought up the album. <laughs> I'm a you're, fan. You're great. I'm a fan. We're all fans. Yeah. We're all fans. Um, Hiding Place is the album. It's definitely worth your ear. Please give it your time. Oh, yes. Mm. Have, has Scooter or have you guys ever considered, you know, having you and Justin write a uh, album together or some songs because you both have Gospel. similar faith? Yeah, I I don't know why it hasn't really. It, I don't think it, their opportunity has really just 
been there yet. I'm I'm super down. I think he's really talented. And uh yeah, I don't know I don't know where he's really at in music right now or what he's gonna do next, but I'm I'm super down. I love him. Are you going to the wedding? I don't know. Oh okay. Did he go to your wedding? Sure. No. It was very it was very small and uh, he didn't make the cut? Private. Yeah. That's why, that's why we weren't invited. We're not, yeah. We don't like hang out all the time, you know. He's you, dope though. He's dope. Yeah. Sure. He's I, I totally assume that you just text all the time, yeah. Facetime no, just, every morning. <laughs> I just thought it was a yeah, just nonstop no. daily text routine. No, no, no. It's not like. <laughs> did you perf- always... perform at your own wedding? I didn't. No, that's we, weird. Be well, but weird, who right? else is gonna perform I mean, better than you? Well, I have some pretty pretty talented friends, but I just didn't want to. Who performed? Um, some really good friends were us, us the duo. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. And we so love talented. them. But, um, but yeah, I didn't want to, like, it's not your be steal, in singer mode. Steal your own thunder. It would just be weird. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it would be. It would definitely be weird. For me. Oh, yeah. Least. It's a, uh, First of all, it's weird for a lot of people. <laughs> she sings herself down the <laughs> so aisle. It been weird, you think? <laughs> okay, good. So it's not just me. It would have been weird. Yeah, but, what's, yeah. but what's weirder, her singing while she walks down the aisle or recording of herself <laughs> singing? I or, think singing live is definitely weirder. I'm holding the mic As walking, walking down. down. Oh, no. Instead of like a bouquet. No. Or, whatever. or the the mic has flowers on oh, it. Oh, yes. You know yeah. one even knows. It's built in. So and you just look bouquet. weird. <laughs> You're singing to flowers? Yeah. Yeah. That's anyway. disturbing. Dang. Yeah. I should have done that. <laughs> ne- ne- next, next time? <laughs> next, no. no. It won't be next time. <laughs> Thankfully. <laughs> The album's great. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks so love much. It. We love you. You don't need to be religious to like it. I'm not religious and I think you sound great. I love Thank the songs. Thank you so much. Dude, Thank so. You. it's because of her voice, That's man. what it is. Oh. Mm-hmm. And Thank you really can interpret and, and connect to these records. There's not one meaning to them. There's many different forms that they take on and they're really beautiful. It's a really incredible body work. So I congratulate you on Thank that. Thank you. And it, Appreciate it. Really cool to hear from you. Uh, it's good to be back. It's been a while. It's been a long time. <laughs> it has. It's four years. Like five, five years. Five years. Whoa. Jeez. We're grown ups now. We're old. It's crazy. Uh. <laughs> Help us to love. Please mm-hmm. listen to it, everybody. It, it, listen to the entire album, but if you're like that kind of person who's like, I just want to hear one. Help us to <laughs> love. <fine>. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh. Really needed. It's uh. it's beautiful. Thank you. I don't know. That, that YouTube video where Kirk's your hype man. Hype man. You know that one, the black and white Is one? Is it the Never Alone? Probably. Ooh, that, that, Never that alone. live video. Yeah. That was fun. That was a good one. That was so fun. Yeah, we did all live music videos. How was it song. recorded? Did you did you have a did you do it all at once? Like, was there a full band there or? Yeah, yeah, we did ev- we did everything. It was it was one like take? a live performance. Yeah, one take. Oof. Yeah. Get it. So fun. <laughs> I think you I've got always a wanted to do that too. I think you got a future. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> You should send this album to Simon Cowell. <laughs> it's messed up. Do you, <laughs> you know what's messed up? Him being rude to you. That's messed up. He and probably I'll, didn't mean it. It's well, fine. Give him the benefit of the doubt, you know. You'll never forget it. Or, or You might forget <laughs> no, it, but you, I won't. Like, you'll I've never forget it. it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can move on. He talks about it every day. I'll be <laughs> upset can. for the both of us. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> All right. uh, cool. Hiding place, worth your yes. time. Please listen. Tori Kelly, looking forward to your tour. Yay, me too. I'm inviting myself to go. <laughs> yes, come. Take me to church, literally. Yes. Thank you. Definitely. Okay. Okay, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> Tori Kelly. I really hope you enjoyed that conversation. If you did, please subscribe and also check out our podcast. There's a link in the description and also comment and like and do things. Other interviews are on the screen somewhere. So click them. Thanks for watching.